what's up people happy thursday hope all you're having a great day um so i forgot to ask this question yesterday it was at the i, I was like doing a review and i completely forgot um so i'm gonna ask the question now before i end up forgetting it was about the lake house alexis's house what house or apartment or penthouse or loft what which one is your favorite out of all of them which one you can have one or you can have two or maybe all but i want to know which one is your favorite my favorite is sunny's house the quarter main house and alexis's house not necessarily in that order but those are my three favorite houses um so anyway getting down to business <sighs> brit what the fuck I like Brit. I really do like Brit, but she's gone way too fucking far. She should have never involved Spencer in this fucking plot. I get that the idea of him running away and stuff was all his idea. I get that. But she should have never went along with that. As an adult, you should have never went along with this shit. Anything could have fucking happened. What if something went wrong with the plan and something bad really happened to this boy because of this dumbass plan? Even though it was his plan, but as an adult... I mean, the boy is, what, eight years old? She's like, what, 20-something, 30? She should have never went along with this. She should have had more common sense to say, no, enough is enough. Like, seriously, I can't condone this shit. I mean, you got Nicholas running around like a fucking madman looking for his only child. And you know, Nick, you know, Spencer's all he has. And if he ever lost him, he would probably lose his fucking mind. And now... His son is running around the fucking streets. What if he was kidnapped? What if he, well, I don't really believe he would have been kidnapped because if he did, you know, Nicholas would have been got a ransom call. He is a billionaire and I'm pretty sure a lot of people know he is. Um, But I hate the fact that he went off on Anna, but I can understand it was all out of anger. But, you know, Anna had a point as police commissioner, she has to investigate every crime that takes place, not just a runaway of his son and she is looking at his son's case as a runaway because so far it wasn't a kidnapping because they didn't get a ransom call and it's been what 24 hours so they never got a ransom call so um anyway she's investigating the mickey diamond shooting Tracy was at the hospital trying to get Elizabeth to tell her if he was an organ donor or whatever. And, you know, she wanted to know his blood type. And Elizabeth told him, out, oh, it's against the law, the HIPAA law for her to give out such information. Elizabeth kills me. She only wants to follow protocol when the bitch suits her. Because I remember plenty of times where she's broken protocol at that hospital. But now all of a sudden you want to go up and now all of a sudden you want to obey the rules bitch please you ain't been obeying the rules lately now all of a sudden you want to please bitch kills me so anyway dante walks up or whatever with his dumb ass i'm sorry but i just don't like dante he's just an idiot cop to me um so tracy tells him about her annulment with luke or fluke um so she's worried about Alice or whatever, but of course she's just worried about saving Alice so Alice to keep her secret because that's all it's about with this witch. Um, so Julian was at the penthouse or whatever telling Ava that she needs to work harder on getting that recording, you know, so that way they can have evidence against Sonny to take him out. So he gets on his laptop and does a video chat with Fluke, who seems like he's in a great location he all snugged up with a little hawaiian shirt on um so they're talking business and julian tells fluke that since he's the one with the evidence against sonny he's gonna hold on to it until fluke treats him like an equal 50 50 partner no more lacing the cocaine with heroin um no more threats against his family and fluke is not going for that but he ain't really got too much of a choice so when Julian gets dressed and leave, Ava hops on his laptop and she video calls Luke, but she doesn't enable the video, meaning that she can see Fluke, but Fluke can't see her. 
So he gets on the video and tell he think his dad is Julian, but um, it's not. It's really Ava. So Ava finally enables the video. He was surprised to see Ava on the other end of that video. So you already know shit is about to get hit the fan. I cannot believe Ava got a little baby bump. So the bitch really is pregnant. I'll be damned. Hmm. But I got a feeling she might not stay pregnant from what I read. Hint, hint. I heard a little something might happen with her and Nina Clay. I don't know how true that is, but hopefully this whole baby thing gets wrapped up. So anyway, Carly was at her house talking to the son of a bitch. You know who I'm talking about. And the son of a bitch is asking her about her recording or whatever. She's asking him where the fuck he was at last night, but he basically not telling her. So the son of a bitch is asking, do she still got her copy of the recording with Sonny on it and, you know, whatever. And she wants, you know, she seems like she's a little suspicious of why he's asking her that question. So she said, yeah, she still got the copy. So the son of a bitch is having a flashback of his conversation with Ava. And she promises that the recording will eliminate Sonny out of his relationship with Carly. So the son of a bitch is tempted to do it. So Carly has to get Jocelyn ready for a camp. Um, and Jocelyn was upstairs in her bedroom because she's hiding um, Spencer in her bedroom. Um, because Britt. You know, he she was in contact with Spencer or whatever about this plan. And now Brad, you know, she's telling Brit was telling Brad that it's time for her to confess to Nicholas. Yeah, bitch, it is time for you to confess to Nicholas because this is his child. You don't play with nobody kids like this. She should have never let this plan go on. So and I already know shit about that to fan. So jocelyn and spencer i love their conversation today though i felt bad for spencer because he was talking about his mother and how she died at birth you know his mother is courtney matthews um sonny corinthos's sister half sister on his father's side his father mike corbin's daughter for those that don't know um so he pulled out a picture of courtney and, you know, he was saying that he wanted to, you know, he wished that he could have known his mother. And, you know, he asked his father about his mother. But I guess it's a touchy subject for Nicholas. So he doesn't ask anymore. So that's why he wants a mother. Um, I love his scenes with Jocelyn. And Jocelyn was talking about how she had older brothers and, you know, but they were older than her. But she had great brothers. Um, I love Jocelyn. I do, because that little attitude that she be giving Carly, I be, I'm be i here for it. I love it. That's exactly what Carly deserve. It's a little mini her. Or that attitude she be giving Carly. So Carly wanted the son of a bitch to drive Jocelyn to her camp. But of course, the son of a bitch didn't want to do it. Number one, because he wanted to use that laptop. Number two, he already know Jocelyn don't like his ass. So anyway, Carly and Jocelyn leave. Jocelyn told Spencer to stay inside the, the um, room. So the son of a bitch grabs Carly's laptop so he could send the email to Ava. And that way, nobody would ever know that he did it. But Spencer is behind the son of a bitch and he's eavesdropping. So you already know some blackmail might be going on up in here. Um, so I think that's everything that happened on this episode. I believe that's everything that happened. Wasn't really much to this episode. Um, so anyway, I will see all of you tomorrow. Have a great day. See you all tomorrow.